This is John. Hey, it's Jason here. And it's Andy. And uh, right now, as you can see, we're playing the recently released Dark Souls 3. So, touted... Oh, she's a Dark Crystal! And no, not the Dark Crystal. <laughs> I'm sorry somebody lied and told you this was this the Dark Crystal. This is so the Dark Crystal! This is not the Dark Crystal. You are a liar! Oh, fine, it's the Dark Crystal, and I'm, the gameplay is super easy. <gasps> no, what is the Dark Crystal? Never heard of the Dark Crystal? No, I didn't. Oh, oh man. We're going to get into that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> but this is Dark Souls 3. Touted as the hardest in the Dark Souls series to date. And, you know, for added shits and giggles, we're going to have Jason take the helm on this one. What do you mean shits and giggles? Is that supposed to fucking mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, yeah, so basically... Uh, no, 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 no. What do you mean? Uh, I'll see. Well, like if I'm walking into a, like a, sh a tiger cage with like a meat suit. I don't want to say it's that... It's your type of game. Just treat it like Devil May Cry. Yeah. <laughs> don't like that smile, Andy. <laughs> don't forget your witch time dodges. Yeah, witch time dodges, backflips. Yeah, don't, all that. Don't forget to pop your devil trigger at the right moment. Oh, uh, this mountain just took a shit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, these Jim Henson movies are getting darker. <laughs> Oh man, it's Gandalf the Lame. <laughs> so yeah, if you get a chance, Andy, I would totally recommend you look up Dark Souls. It was like, you'll say to yourself, what the heck was Jim Henson Dark talking? Crystal. Dark, Dark Crystal. Crystal, yeah. Right, right, sorry, sorry, my mistake. Alright. <laughs> ah, they summoned Exodia. I think. So, uh... Hey, dude, you're missing your face there. No, it's shrouded in mystery. You don't get it. Yorm the giant. It's shrouded in mystery, dude. He has a hole in his face. That hole is for the hand that's gonna come and reach out for you. Mm. Swallow you whole. Well, you didn't see the giants in the previous games. The giants in the previous games are actually like part tree. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. you're actually right. Um, oh, kind of Lord of the Rings, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Um, so yeah, uh, you, you don't have uh, that much experience with these kinds of games, do you, Jack? No, should I have? I oh, mean, he's a pro, though. I think he'll win this. He got I, this. Well, all right. So this will be a learning experience for everybody involved, then. <laughs> I only, Especially Jason. I've only I've only <laughs> played a bit of Dark Souls 2, and uh, you're going to see uh, later on in the Bloodborne playthrough. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, spoilers. We're going to play Bloodborne 2. But, uh... Yeah, if I can impart one bit of knowledge on you, Jay. L1, or left button. Is that the... the block button. Oh, so it's not the grenade toss button. <laughs> no, that's not the grenade toss button. And that would be the left trigger, not the left button. <laughs> so, okay, blocking's for Virginia. Anyway, let's get to the most fun part of the game that you're going to have. The character creator. Can you use the analog stick? That's lame. Oh, so, oh my god, you I have to use the D-pad. I really how, hope not. All right. How immersion breaking. So, it's, it's <laughs> look up a name. Oh, here we go. No, okay. By the way, we're playing the Steam PC version. Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys need to know. Um, yeah, that's important to some people. A lot of people want to know what kind of gear we might be running. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I, got a, I got a good name for this. Uh, excretion. What? Excretion? Yeah, but spell that for me because I, 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 uh, I don't spell good. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, e. <laughs> you, you, okay. X. So, <laughs> C. I, I don't like where this is going. R. E. Is that right there? There you go. Because it was... Okay. I love how while we were spelling it, the auto spell was is greeting. Uh, like, is it screening the name you want to get? Is it screening the name you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> yes. My character. You know, a typical <laughs> character creator name that it shouldn't be able to guess what your name is, but in this case. I guess it's a typical name then. <laughs> so. Alright. Uh, it's asking I, if you want to change from male to female. So I think excretion should be female. Why? Because female, ten, <laughs> female I, in my experience for games that I play in this type of a character creation, female characters tend to look better in the armor. Not necessarily sexy, just. Like, the detail of the armor is always better. Oh, good. I thought this was going to take a dark turn. Well, and you were going to say, well, generally females are shit. Oh, and also because I like titties. <laughs> but, I mean, 
whatever. So, um, yes. Uh, uh, you'll learn to that the models in this game are, well. Okay. <laughs> so is Gre- so is Grecian is going to be an aged female. Wow. Okay. Mm. All right. What what class are you gonna take? Look so that. Muslim. Look at that sexy face. So okay, I have a choice between Frenchy knight. Okay. Muslim. Mm-hmm. Uh, Viking. Douchebag. Oh, you should really pay attention here because this I, dictates the kind of gameplay you want. Like almost douchebag. Hmm. Uh, that is not an assassin. Okay. Close. What is, I mean, assassins well, use. Oh, damage. Gandalf. Anyway, you should be paying attention to their stats because uh, <laughs> Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. From that one <laughs> movie where he was like a, 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 a earth spirit. Uh, Native American guy. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> cleric. A cleric. Uh, in hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I take it back. This is the homeless person. Okay. So really think about what you want. Uh, since you're not that familiar with these kinds of games, I would suggest either the knight or the warrior. Yeah, I'd say knight and warrior. One of those two. Or those are more like melee as uh, melee esque um, classes. Yeah. Unless you want to go in magic, that then you would go to sorcerer or pyromancer. But bear in mind, if you go to those routes, you have a very limited uh, quantity of uh, magic uses. Well, also, you are super squishy. Well, you're yeah. squishy regardless. I'll be a knight, because, yeah. Cool. Burial gift. What? Is that? Remember that? Burial gift? Yeah. yeah. You get a, they, the game usually gives you an item of choice. A little perk. Yeah, a little thing. Life ring. Ring sets a small jewel in my region. I speak. Um, I don't know. Personally, I think the ring is a good choice because that's a bit of equipment that you can hold on to. Yeah, it'll give you a little bit more max HP. But look at everything else. Because the rest are kind of just use items. Yeah, that's, that's that are gone. Use, yeah, that one right there is blessed holy item. item hidden blessing. Is, yeah, that's an item. Fire bomb. Fire bomb. gem. Fire gem is used to craft uh, fire elements. So I can get a fire weapon early on. Okay. Well, you can craft your weapon for fire. Um, Sovereignless Soul, it, you know, sleep to, to, oh, you use that to get some souls. Like that. Yeah, right off the bat. Yeah, that gives you souls right off the bat. I'm not sure what the coin does. I don't remember. The red eye orb, I think it's... Oh, it's the coin numbers. is probably money. Uh, burial item for good fortune after death. I uh, wouldn't worry too much about the online item. So I just get the ring. Yeah, stick with the ring. Uh, if you want to modify your appearance a bit, it's going to be covered most of the time anyway, so bear that in mind. Yeah, let's see what cool looking model Jason decides to build. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thick old lady. <laughs> wow. That's our screeching. You're going super grandma status here. <laughs> She's like, uh, like a bizarro. Oh yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> right, I take it back to young. Because yeah, that was kind of creepy. Wow, that is like the weirdest burly woman I've ever seen in my life. So Andy, you were telling us about how great the character creation is. Oh uh, yeah, so great, robust, and really, really the models are just ugly. But <laughs> but again, I was about you'll to be say, wearing uh, armor. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be covered up most of the time, so this isn't that important. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, I found it's it just funny to see how bad. So are. bulimic it is. Yeah, I found it, you know, that was a little disconcerting when he told me the character creator in these games wasn't good because the only experience I ever had with uh, these Souls, anything from FromSoft, were the Armored Core games. You know, those games are all about customizing your mech to the way you wanted it to look and whatever. So to hear that you don't get a level of creation in this game is a little upsetting, but hey, you're going to be covered in armor most of the time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, they get it lets you, like, deal with little things of, like, you know, facial, um, like, they have a lot of, li- it's like a Skyrim um, editor, but the models they give you are not very good looking, so <laughs> no matter what you do to them, you're not really going to make them oh, look Oh, so good. you really can't make them look like you as much as you try to. Yeah, it's, okay. they're, they're just pretty, it's a pretty crappy uh, character development um, screen. But it's there, you know, it's, you want to see all the different funky looking faces, you can do that. And at, at this point, you know, you get left out of the Ooh, showroom if you Cemetery of Edge. don't have a bunch of presets for your creator. Oh, so that's how I heal. That's yeah. this flag, you just, which you just used one of, and you have two left. Yeah, you'll, you recharge those at bonfires. Shield bash. 
L1 is light attack. I mean, R1 is right attack. RT is heavy I, attack. Wait, how do you? How do I? Okay, that's how I block it. Yeah, triangle just so you can hold the weapon. That's both, both back. Ends. And that's another side. <laughs> X doesn't do anything. Uh, X is your quick use item. Oh, someone's actually telling me how to. Okay, so I could just. Ah, well, I mean, I mean, I figured out how to do it anyway. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Ooh. That was hey, good. Go to hell. Don't forget to lock on with the right stick. Yeah. That locking other on one, is your friend in this game. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like swinging wildly and get your back cut open. <laughs> and sir? your enemy. Oh, hey, why are you being so rude? I just want to talk. Ass. Hmm. So far, so good. No. These homeless people are so rude. They very, dress very well for homeless people. Uh, Ashen Estes Flask. I'm led to believe that that Estes Flask is to help you refill your magic. Oh, that's right. That's in, in this game, it gave you a more streamlined way to refill your spells. They just gave yeah. you a different Estes Flask. Well, earlier Dark Souls games actually gave you a, lim a set amount of um, times that you can use your spells. Well, so, like, you have a fire it. element spell... And you could only cast it like seven times. That's like preset. You can't increase yeah. it. You can't decrease it. And what? You had to refill it at a... a bonfire. All right. As long as it's Ooh. not a one-time use spell, like in like, like the scrolls in um, Skyrim. Ooh. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Jason. You just got blindsided by your first set of enemies. <laughs> ah. Now, to effectively block his arrows, it would help to like lock onto him. Otherwise, he'll shoot them like over the top of your head or whatever. Not bad, not bad There's at all. There's a passageway over there. Let's see where that takes you. I don't know. This, 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 I mean... To the left, I don't know what. I kind of played, um... Bloodborne, and this play is totally different. Yeah, now you see the difficulty that I have in adjusting. <laughs> I, I mean... Oh, and circle is your dodge roll. I kind of figured that. When you hold circle, you dash. Did, this is the passage you are telling me about? Yeah, Okay. See what's over there. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> this feels like setup. I'm going in blind. Uh, FYI, I'm going in blind here too. You know, the only two cents I have is that hey, I played a Souls game before. Right. Is that what I'm looking for? That looks. Hey! Oh no! Hi! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Please, God! Oh! Wow, that looks. That thing looks pretty violent. Hey! So, what could that possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Don't, oh. don't don't just sit there and attack though. You need to save some stamina if you need to block or get roll out of the way. I, I I know how to play. I know how to play games like this. Okay. Kind of. I'm just throwing out some hints there. Hi. No. 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 Oh. Cross. Cross. Got pretty like. Hard. Oof. You gotta use an Estus flask right about now. Unlike Bloodborne, you can't refill your life from Aileen. Yeah, <laughs> this is we're back to a more defensive style of play. Ooh, damn! If only you didn't use those two S's flasks. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, at this uh, at this point, one more hit will do it. So, Ooh, there it is. Oh wait, we just started this game, right? Yeah, I could have swore we were in the middle of a boss battle. <laughs> this is a boss fight, you ass. Right, let's go kick this crystal lizard's ass. Oh, you going back for round two? Damn right. Well, Sir, I don't appreciate your bullshit. Watch your health. Yeah. He's, not, he's a slightly higher level enemy. It's to be expected. Mm. Mm. Dude, I'm telling you, come back in a little bit. What is this, like round seven? Yup. That's oh. what I'm talking about. David versus Do this, Jay. Do this. I'm going to whoop this douchebag's ass. Get that motherfucker glass. I want my money back. Well, your money's over there. You can technically just take it and go. <laughs> I would be the saying. same without getting his victory. I'm just saying. What, to block it? Okay, cool. Yeah, you can block it. It looks like you can block everything except that big bite attack and the breath attack. Well, the bite is an overhead, it looks like, so why would I be able to block it? So, yeah, even enemies have power swings, so. Block it. Perfect. Oh, I can block that too, it looks like. It looks like it costs a lot of stamina, Ooh. and it's just going to follow it right back up. Yeah, when you block something, it's a good idea to, like, like break this the distance between the two because it might be and let go of your block button because holding block makes the stamina gauge charge up slower mm. so you let it go let it charge fast then you hold up the guard the guard again oh. See, right now you gotta stay away 
and let and let down your, your guard for a second. And now you can then you go back up with your guard. Alright, when he did a distance control. attack, he's probably gonna do the roll. There you right. go. I would stay away, anyhow. Very good. Stay away, stay away, stay away. No, I can block it. Alright. Yeah, but when, what happens is that when your stamina gauge is empty and they attack you while you're blocking, you, you take the full hit. You get staggered. And then the next hit, you're gonna take extra damage. Oh boy. So, so you gotta be careful when, when you do that. Ooh, you almost gored me. You're close yeah. though, you're almost done. Yeah, you gotta be careful. One more big attack from him will do it. Wow. Good job. Awesome. And tight night scale, man. That's used to um, upgrade your weapon. That's it's a higher level item, so you get it later on in the game. Like right cool. now, you just need shards. So, was it worth it for a item you can use much later and some souls? Yes. You got a lot of souls. But he he actually souls. did. That's nothing to sneeze at this early. You know why? Because it just proves to me to this game that I have big boys. Now, unfortunately, you're going to go <laughs> oh. into this next area with... Oh. No, well. I'm sure they're going to give me something to replenish it and then the boss fight. Really? Okay. Uh, Let's see what happens. I love that air of skepticism in your voice. Oh, I got me nervous for a second. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> no the paranoia is kicking in. If you're in Dark Souls is doing its job. <laughs> if, if you, if you'll get an alert if you're being invaded, and the phantoms won't be clear. They'll be red. And by the way, they'll attack you even during boss fights. <laughs> because the game hates you. Because the game go fuck itself. The game and the, the Phantom. Mm. <laughs> well, he's just in it for some souls. Yeah, he's in it for some souls. La, la, you don't la, care. La, he's wow. Look at that view. Gorgeous view. Well, one thing about these games, they are very, very pretty. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. Come on, look at that, dude. That is amazing. But we're not here for the scenery. Who was that? That's what. That's safety. That's gonna be your savior for the rest of the game. So to pop a squat. Now your Estus flasks are recovered. Estus flasks are recovered. Your health is back. Unfortunately, so was any every enemy all in the area. All the enemies area. are back as well. Yes. But right now they're all one shot, one kill enemies. So nothing to worry in that so department. This is like my save point. Yeah. So if you die from now on. When you die, you're going to spawn in that place. Mm. Oh, wait. Uh, what are you? Yes! <laughs> oh, I was hoping to see how I should touch the ground. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. I guess it doesn't work that way. Doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Nah. <laughs> ah, I was expecting a dive. <laughs> this isn't Super Mario. Well, oh, look at that. His soul's back. Yeah, he's up. Is it me or is he not being penalized in life? Well, he's undead at the moment. Um, as far as the life thing is concerned, yeah, I agree. Maybe they took off that uh, that life. Yeah, thing. because his life, Matt's life, hasn't gone down so far. So, if hey, that'd be cool if they get that's a new thing. Ooh, he has he takes two hits this time. Takes oh. two hits. Well, so you have graduated. Stunning. Now you gotta go to Two Piece Academy. Ooh, gotta be a little smarter about the way you attack. Because these guys are taking a small fraction. Later on, they're going to take... Where the hell did you come from? Asshole. Asshole. your life bar. Yeah, this game, they like to ambush you a lot. So, uh, yeah. be, be cautious of your surroundings. I would definitely recommend having knowledge of your surroundings. Like, before you head through a passage or a hallway, you know, check the corner. See if you can peek around the... Look at this guy. Hawkeye over here. <laughs> Oh, well, he doesn't see seem look. like you have foaming arrows. See, look, he was get, running up to hit you in the back. Yeah, wanted to ambush you. <laughs> At least it's not like the other Dark Souls games where they help freaking shoot their arrows and it homes into you. Yeah, uh, like I'm questioning the medieval technology that allows laser-guided lock-ons on arrows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure they've got a guy painting me from a distance with a laser. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, uh, like that movie Wanted. Ugh. Oh, with curving bullets? <laughs> yep, <laughs> but without. Hey guys! Uh oh. He's got a sh All right, this guy's got a shield, so he may or may not decide to block your regular attacks. Come here, asshole! Not you. Wait. 
Yeah, you might want to be out of his trajectory for the time being. Come on. He also have very narrow space to do this bike. Come so. on. So you, you turn the corner. Very good. All right, now you can do with this guy, no problem. That was your dick, by the way. Satisfying. Good job, Jay. And you get some souls. I got a grenade. Oh, was I supposed to pick stuff up the bodies? Uh, oh, not everybody drops stuff. Just look for the little white aura around corpses. Of course, you know, wait to pick everything up until after everything in the immediate era, area is dead. And bear in mind, they don't drop healing items very often in this game. Yeah. So you, you're your number one source. those Estus Flasks. Yeah, your Estus Flask is going to be your number one source of healing. Mmm. Hey, this looks familiar. Big open area. Oh, God. Hey, AJ. You remember that E3 video? No. You don't remember the E3 demo? No. So you have no idea what's coming up, do you? No. Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm going to die! He, he got infected by the Resident Evil 5 This virus. isn't fair! This wasn't even the job description! Fuck the princess! Princess? Oh! Somebody told you there was a princess? I was lied to and said there is an old lady in the oh. game. Oh, uh, there I go. Beautiful. Ooh! Too man, shit. You're gonna definitely have to rely on your dodge rolls. Oh, oh. you, so be careful. Where is he? There he is. Oh, oh. That follow up attack. He totally psyched you out with the second hit, man. I mean, with a, like a jumping in the air from a long distance. You dodge. Definitely. Because usually it'll break the dot the dog block. Or take a lot of your stamina away. The moves like that, you can, you can just block. And then when you see the guy staggered, you approach the guy by, while lowering your while lowering your um, your guard so that you can cover stamina quick. Wow, just have a drink of this delicious Coca-Cola. In general, just keep moving to his side. I, you know what? That doesn't work that way because you know what? He has a response to that. It's called swinging to the side. He has a long reach. My best bet is to stay as point uh, as, as uh, stay in his poke range and block it, and then wait for him to go for a wide attack. That's not a bad idea. Considering you can block everything at this point. Look at that. Watch for Look the follow rake. Now careful, because the arm will... Perfect. Alright. Alright, alright. Mm. Careful. Nice. You can even block that. Provided you're full, anyway. I'm worried that a big guy like this has some kind of like overhead or grab attack. You saw it already. Yeah, well, the first one. Yeah, that doesn't look like it can be blocked. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're standing right out there. Mm. Alright. You think these attacks take a lot of stamina. And you did it. There you go. Yeah, he tacks pretty wide, so I, I was able to... Now, give him the delicious souls. Where are the souls I dropped? Are those it? Yep. Ah. Uh, and look! Salvation. And a save point. You're... Watch, is he going to come back? No. <laughs> you promise? Bask in your victory. He's not coming back, I right? Can't promi not coming back. I can't promise he won't come back at a later point in the game. And look. I mean right now. Your max life. It went up. Yeah, your max life did go up. That may be as a result of actually turning back to a human. Oh, so that means that, that happens time. when you turn into when you beat a boss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's the fact. Yeah, so maybe you do lose life. life. So they just don't show the part that you lost. Unlike the other Souls games, which constantly remind you of that. Look at that red guy. <laughs> totally dead. Okay, that wasn't an invading spirit. Uh, 
Now, unfortunately, you have to haven't met the person yet that'll let you spend your souls. Yeah. You, you kind of always want to run back to that person so that you, any souls you accumulate, you don't lose when you die. Because once you've spent them, they're spent. They can't be lost. Now, you have a night setup, so most of the equipment you find now is probably not going to be as great as what you're holding on to. If you want to check out the equipment you have now, you can press the uh, start button, or option button. No, I'm good. Okay. He's free right now. Okay. Hey, you. I want to experiment something with you. And it's not intervenous sex. And, you know, I, I know to you, I look like a very sexy woman. <laughs> yes, you can but, tell how sexy you are under all those but layers. But to me, of you look like you have the bubonic plague cock. I don't even know what that means. Uh, you see, he blocked that. Uh, this other guy just can't take it anymore. Usually, if they're not hostile, I uh, might have trouble locking onto them. Homework bone. That'll let you go back to the, the bonfire without losing souls. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. So I can't just keep going back and recharge it? You can. I just if you don't want to run back and you don't want to use your souls. It'll be as if you died. You didn't actually die, but it'll be like you died, but you don't lose your souls. Oh, when I use the homework bone you made. I was wondering what you were talking about. Yes. Oh, you got a distant admirer. You, come on. I don't want... No! <laughs> He's got great range on him. If you want to switch who you're locked on to, just press this uh, look stick in the general direction of who you want to look at. Alright, now, kindly ask him to stop shooting things at you. <laughs> So what do you what do you think so far, Jay? How do you like the feel of this compared to something like uh, Bloodborne? It hurts. <laughs> it's, it's definitely different, isn't it? Uh, what? How about the combat? It hurts. <laughs> Very descriptive, of course. And uh, you know, how about your uh, irritable bowel syndrome? Pretty smooth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it? It was a dog. The cool thing is, if an enemy throws himself off a cliff, you still get the souls. And the item, apparently. Uh, no, you lose the item. Oh. Alright. So, uh, do you see yourself still playing this sometime later? No. Um, Something you can get used to, maybe? I, I would like to see you further into the game before at least I, like, you know, battering the controller across the room, I guess, but... <laughs> Oh, come on, you haven't even gotten to true rage-inducing state yet. Hey, that's what I said. I would like to see more into this game. The fire... Oh. But it definitely has caught your interest, which is cool, considering, again, you don't have a background in these kinds of games, right? Well, I mean, I did tr attempt to play, uh, I think, Demon Souls. Yeah. And, ooh, I couldn't play that game. I remember game. that. That was, like, one of the first games you bought on your PS3. And I was like, uh, no, 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 oh, man. I fell in love with that game. <laughs> I freaking love Demon's Souls. That game was ridiculously hard. I admired that game from a distance, but then, you know, I got scared off by everybody. It's like, oh my god, this is the hardest game ever. But, but, like, compared to the intro that that game had to this, um, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna gauge the entire game on, like, just, just this tutorial. No, no, no. But I was like, just asking for your impressions thus far. I can definitely say, like, compared to, like, controls and stuff and, like, what they want me to do with my stuff in this game compared to the other ones, yes. I would try to sit here and play this game to completion. Well, that's cool. Uh, and you know what? You know, that's something you guys can look forward to as well because, you know, Jason's having fun and we're having fun watching him struggle. <laughs> No, I'm well, kidding. Jason's, do Jason's doing a lot better than I probably would be right you're now. You're the firekeeper, huh? You're a sexy piece of ass. Better than expected, yeah. Totally, totally. I look forward to seeing more of this game, and I hope you guys do too. Until next time, <laughs> signing out. <laughs>